What's going on everybody and welcome back to Demos Gaming and today we are playing Imperion Galactic Survival. I cannot tell you how many times I have tried to start a playthrough of this game and for one reason or another it didn't work out. So we are trying <laughs> one more time to get into this. Um, so I'm going to start a brand new single player game, Survival. Um, and I'm going to talk about all the settings and all that kind of stuff. If you just want to skip to the gameplay, then click right down here. Groovy. So there's a specific seed that I would like to use. Let me see if I can check on the number real quick because I am somewhat familiar with it. So I'd kind of like to use that seed if at all possible. There we go. Nira. Yes, I'm somewhat familiar with this planet. So I'd like to use a seed uh, of a planet that I kind of know already. I know it's kind of fun to do like a brand new thing, but I've played a little bit on this one. Like, you know, a couple hours at the most. But anyway, um, so we're going to call this one demo. Yeah, one. All right, that's fine. Okay, uh, difficulty settings. Is this like how I typically like it? No, I'm gonna change some things. Okay, I think this is what I'm gonna go with. There's a couple things here that some people may not like, like the keep inventory on death, keep everything. Look. I have played a couple games before where there are some death loops in it, but this one by far is the worst. You can literally be driving from point A to point B, minding your own fucking business, and then some laser beam from like five miles away is shooting at you. You don't even fucking know where it is, and it kills you over and over and over and over. Anyway, point is, I want to avoid that if at all possible, so I'm just going to keep everything on death just because... Uh, the game feels a little too grindy otherwise. Um, fast player progression. Yeah, I just I want to be able to build stuff within a short amount of time. I don't like to have to mine for frickin' ever, you know, that kind of thing. I, I want to just be able to explore, you know, see what there is to see. There's like a whole galaxy in the game now. So anyway, um, but I think the rest of it is fine. So we're going to hit OK on that. And I believe we are ready to go. There we go. So yeah, this game just got into, um, uh, it came out of early access, I should say. There's a lot of new stuff in the game now, like, um, there's like a whole mission and all this kind of stuff. I've played a little bit of the missions before, so I kind of know what to expect there. And some of it's, it's a lot of fun. So there's just so much to see. Once we load in here, um, we're going to want to come, I think, think over this away because basically right around here is kind of where I'd like to set up my base we've got water on one side trees you know kind of right in the middle there um, and then we have a little wreckage here that we can salvage so if you're watching this and you haven't played before I am gonna play this a little bit like a um, um, kind of a walkthrough just kind of explaining what I'm doing and like why I'm doing it although I haven't played the game in a long time so if you played it recently um, shoot me a comment on the end. Ow! So, cool! Here we go. Alright, we're in a pretty good spot here. Emergency situation detected. Protocol UCH-001A has been initialized. Proceed! Ship status? Destroyed due to malfunction in the engine systems. Current situation? Crashed on an unknown planet. Pilot status? Successfully abandoned ship in escape pod. Pilot health low but stable. Integrated data, data assistant? IDA rebooted. Okay. Welcome back, Commander. And you can right-click to skip through this a little bit faster. I'm currently evaluating situation. This will take a few minutes. In the meantime, please be sure to pick any items up from your escape pod before you go elsewhere. Thanks for the reminder, IDA. Okay, so we're just going to come here and hit, uh, I think, oh, yeah, let's prologue. So this is kind of our first mission, the first thing that we have to do. So we're going to hit let's go, and then we're just going to grab everything that's in here. There's some goofy Christmas-related crap, which, uh, actually here, we'll pull up this. Yeah, it looks, uh, it looks pretty cool. Except he doesn't have the Santa hat on, weirdly enough. By the way, this drone is extremely helpful. You press F5 to get to that. Commander, I am tracking a UCH fleet signal sent from a nearby station. Cool beans. Um, do we need to go to it? 
Find station, teleport station. Ah, so it's right over there. So it's about uh, 500 meters away. So what I'm gonna be doing initially is, since we're on kind of a unknown planet, we really don't know what to expect here. I'm gonna put some of these health items out of my toolbar so I can access them easily. Um, this first thing here, we can actually set that to defense mode and uh, that will help us against any enemies that we might run into. Uh, so the first thing I'm really going to be doing is just trying to get the food situation figured out because my food and health are pretty low right now. So I need to do that. I think, oh, you know what? I just remembered. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so that's, <laughs> I was thinking there was a specific reason why I wanted to come over here. And this is why, because of this personal cargo box. I can pull this up. Yeah, this is actually a really fun seed. Oh, no, I can just leave this there. That's right. And then hit R to reload, and then we are all set. We actually have a pistol now. Pretty pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is a great seed to get started in, you know, if you've really never played the game before. Um, but, yeah, once I've done a little bit of the missions here, uh, I'm also going to do some mining, try and get some things mined and uh, salvage. Like, I'm going to salvage some of those ships and some of the stuff that I saw. So if we go to the survival constructor here that's kind of on your body, you can make some energy bars. So I'm going to make actually a couple of those because I think I just need, yeah, plant protein. I just kind of picked that up from those little hot dog looking things. They actually, <laughs> oh, friendly, huh? Are you friendly? You're actually going to run for me? I wonder if they get aggressive if you stay around them for too long. Hello, little baby. Hello, little baby. These things actually used to be called corn dogs back in the day, and you could literally just, like, eat them. <laughs> it was kind of funny. All of these rocks that I'm passing, you can actually mine these for stuff. So, and each one will give you something a little bit different. So, like, this one here will give you iron. So, I'm gonna, uh, um, you can right-click on this thing and set it to resource drill, and then you can mine this thing. Cool. And it looks like we actually found a copper deposit. We got close enough to some copper deposit. Oh yeah, so there's a copper deposit there. Looks like we have a silicon deposit there and an iron deposit. So yeah, once we get like close to some things, there's that stuff will pop up. But I think we can pull this detector out. I wanna say if you pull that out and then hit click on it, yeah, it'll actually scan the area for stuff nearby. So it'll kind of show you what all is nearby. Anything that's in red can potentially be dangerous. So you gotta be careful of that. Uh, plant fibers are good for crafting things. The, the whole beginning of the, of the game is really kind of overwhelming, I think, for me. And I have, I played this game a lot, actually. I've, I've played this game since Alpha 7. I think it went to Alpha 12 and then, you know, came out of early access. Oh, God. Can you guys, like, chill out? Get away from me, please. I'm trying to get some iron. God. Okay. Pick these things up. But yeah, like I was saying, the whole game can seem very overwhelming because there's so much going on. It's it's a really in-depth game, and I, I continually keep coming back to it. I think the biggest complaint that I have about this one is, is just kind of like... Uh, and I hate to say this, but it's like the difficulty of it sometimes can be a pain in the butt. Like, there's times where certain aspects of the game seem really easy, you know, and you're like, oh, man, I feel like it's, you know, nothing's really hard. But when it comes to combat-related things, it, like, goes from being a pretty chill game to, like, a really difficult, grindy, frustrating game. So I think uh, my biggest complaint... Oh, that's right, this is Silicon here. I think my biggest complaint is, like, the, um, uh, all the diseases, okay? There's, like, a laundry list of diseases you can get in this game from various things, and, uh, that's why sometimes I end up calling this game Disease Simulator, um, Galactic Survival. The signal source is not here, it's emitting from another position nearby, okay? So, what, did I come here for no fucking reason? Identification failed. Okay. Please enter valid code access. Deactivate console. Okay. This could be the first clue to what happened to us. IDA. Or it could be a trap. Look out, it's a trap. Ah, yes, just drinking my tea. Let's start chasing the white rabbit, shall we? Why? Why did she have to say that? God, it's like a thousand meters away. I don't know why I said that. 1.1 1. 1 kilometers away. Okay, so we need to chase the white rabbit, apparently. God, that sucks. Um, oh, you know what? 
I have a motorcycle construction kit. I don't even need to worry about this. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, let's make a portable constructor. All right. I think if we go into the tech tray, I have a bunch of points to unlock now. And if we go into miscellaneous, I want to say, we can unlock the portable constructor. Cool. So I'll go ahead and just do that for now. All right. Once we have a portable constructor, and it just requires three iron ore, I have plenty of that. Um, let's pull these energy bars out and eat them. Num, 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 num. Energy. Give me energy. In fact, yeah, what all do these things give you? Just food. Yes, some food items, like, let's see what the rat, the emergency rations. That'll give you food and health. And stamina, actually. It looks like it gives you a lot of different things, so... So, yeah, like I said, right now we're just kind of trying to do these early missions, and I'm just going to kind of grab some of these resources as we go because I'm going to need a lot of this stuff as the game continues. But thankfully, that place over there, the next little part of the quest that we have to do, has a ton of stuff that we can salvage. So I'm going to kind of take advantage of that when we go over there. But yeah, when we do the portable constructor, we're actually going to make a bike. Bicycle! Bicycle! Not really much here. Um, but yeah, so we can actually salvage this. So we switch this over to salvage mode. Then you can... Um, kind of work away at it with this particular tool it takes a while but you do get two steel plates uh so yeah this is called the survival tool so the survival tool is not really efficient at salvaging but early game when you need some some stuff you know it's it's kind of helpful once we get a i want to say it's called a multi-tool once we get a multi-tool things will be a lot easier for us so we have that let's put this down and we're gonna make a motorbike. How do I make a motorbike? Show me, sir. Show me the motorbike. Damn you, where is it? There it is, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna make this thing up pretty darn quick. And then I think if we left, left, or er, shift F, and then click on that, then we get it. So, yep, we have a bike. It's nice and loud. Um, yeah, and it pretty much just goes at one speed. So, oh, looks like we got a Bibbidi Boop. Hello, Bibbidi Boop. Can I, um, make snow? Okay. Do I want to fight the Bibbidi Boop? I want to fight the Bibbidi Boop. Get off this bike. Let me kill this Bibbidi Boop. Uh oh, is he running after me? Ooh, okay. We gotta be careful of these big bastards. Ah, but we get some milk and meat from it. So here, watch this. We're going to make some steaks. Ooh, yummy. Oops. Okay, let's put that in there. And make up some steaks. In fact, we can do three of them because we have three meats. Uh, and actually, I can probably just drink this milk. It gives us actually a little bit of food and a little bit of health. So let's just drink that. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Let's eat one of these steaks, get our uh, health, uh, her health and our food up. It's going to do more for the food than it's going to do for our health, but that's okay. So let's do one more, and oh yeah, yeah, we'll be almost topped off on the food once we have all of them here. Come on, hurry up. And done. Cool. Sweet. All right, let's get the hell out of here. So let's keep heading over here. Ooh, ah, okay. All right, so if that ever happens, you can get it back. There's no no reason to be alarmed. So let's uh, see if we can do this. I think if you press and then pick it up, but then get get up to service really quick. Um, I have found that when you're swimming, if you just if you try to swim up, it actually doesn't work. You have to you have to like actually hit the space bar, and it takes like no time at all to die in the water. That that's also kind of dumb. There really should be like a like an air meter, dude. I mean, seriously, this guy's a, like a, a he's a freaking astronaut. He's like a, a futuristic astronaut. I'm sure he can breathe, or, well, he can't breathe underwater, sorry. But he can hold his breath, is what I meant to say. Um, yeah, let's pick up some spice. Sure, why not? But he can hold his breath underwater for a couple seconds, anyway. All right, let's get over to this thing here. You're gonna see a couple, like, different types of dinosaur-looking things nearby. Oh my god! It's a Sarah! It's you! Hey, Sarah! Hello! Hi there! Oh, 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 okay. All right, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to get all up in your grill. I was just excited. I saw you on the land before time many years ago when I was a child, and I'm still a fan. 
Uh, the planet has seen a lot of fights. Yours is only the latest in the series. Track down the UCH. So picking up and let's go. All right, cool. Damaged UCH dart. Oh, neat. Has to transport the Heidelberg indeed. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> okay. But totally destroyed. I am not sure we'll find anything useful here. Okay, they're talking about that ship that's over there. I'm actually interested in this thing. Um, we should have a look anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Oh, ooh. Ooh, okay. So this is, um, this is like a little small vessel. I have marked possible target for your investigation. It is showing an electromagnetic signal. Sorry. Let's get through all this stuff. Are we good? Is that it? Okay, anyway, so I am trying to hit P here, which normally pulls up kind of the interface with the ship, but it's not letting me do that, which tells me that this is po this possibly does not have a core in it. I wonder if I can take, I can take this core and put it in there. Oh, this would be nice to have. This would seriously be nice to have. I'll do it. So cores are, they're not that expensive to make. So, although I don't know if this is gonna fly, that's part of the problem. So if you hit P, you can get into this screen and it looks pretty complicated, but basically what I'm trying to find out right now, so there's no fuel in this at all, okay. Uh, generator and fuel tank missing. So I need, I actually need to make a generator and a fuel tank for this. So I can't really do that yet. I need some more stuff first. But um, when I come back to this thing, I'm definitely going to see if I can make something for it. But anyway, all right, so the mission was telling us to come over here to this little signal. So this is like a big, giant uh, spaceship, basically. Basically, I think this was the spaceship that our character was on when kind of shit hit the fan and he had to do the uh, escape pod. So, cool. All right, let's uh, hop out. I'm actually going to pick this bike up because otherwise it will despawn after a while. I don't know how long it takes, but it does... Let's have a look inside. Oh, is it? Oh, it's this. Okay. Energy matrix. Nice. Some stuff and a notepad. It seems like something. Has hit us hard. Kind of a laser projectile or a very advanced rocket. We got separated from the main fleet. These Xerox have cut us off from the rest and are trying to bring us down. They will be successful. The captain has sent the emergency rescue channel. Mm. Ah, Palin out. All right, cool. Ugh. Okay, so, um, hmm, Chief Palant, one of the engineers I worked with on my first assignment on a pollen station. Okay. So, my, I, did you notice that the whole wreckage seems to be weathered, like it was lying around here for quite some time? Yes, curious it seems. Hmm. All right, well, they're talking with each other. I'm going to try and look for some stuff. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> Ooh, nice. I'm going to hit 999 and do that. Ha-ha! <laughs> fuel packs. Oh, sorry, I'm not reading this stuff. The first results show the whole damage happened about 11 to 13 months ago. What? Months? How can we... But, but we just came down. What happened? I don't understand. Okay, let's say this is correct. This is my character. He's like, hypothetically speaking. If it is correct, Commander... Oh, okay. Uh, considering the events of our arrival, this could explain a lot. Like, I mean, what what would it explain? Is that all of you? Oh man. Chief Let's had a theory about time dilation in the vicinity of an unstable warp field. Okay. All right. Listen, nerds. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this is still the 21st century. And irregular warp vortex around the Titan we got dragged into. Okay. Titan, the big ship. Ooh! Oh, I got a multi-tool. Nice. Could be considered one. I need a correct commander. I will analyze this further. Okay. So it's probably gonna give us some more missions. Whoops. Whoops. Oh. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay. Let's consider twenty-four seventy-three, but twenty-four seventy-four, for whatever reason. Oh, that's cool. They're trying to tell you what the year is. Sneak it into the story. I think we should investigate the wreckage more closely. Maybe we'll get more info about what's happened to the fleet, if nothing else. All right. I'm just going to keep grabbing stuff from all these containers while they're jabbering old. Where are they detected electronic current nearby? Ooh. Ooh, what does that do? Ah. I don't know what that does. Let's see if someone has left another note inside. Oh. 
creepy butterfly scared the shit out of me. Um, ooh, nice. Captain, oh, did I, <laughs> did I pick it up by accident? Captain Brenner and most of the flight team were killed just seconds ago. A projectile hit the bow amidships. I was incredibly lucky. My absolutely justified criticism made after I ran into this mask caused the lieutenant to send. <laughs> Now, I can't leave this room. Doors are sealed. I'm standing in front of the lifeboat section. I cannot enter it, which doesn't matter anyways. The whole section is missing. I'm staring to the sky through, through a big hole in, hole in the hull. Ooh, that's an ugly sentence. Uh, the ground is coming closer. I just heard the tearing of metal. The ship is breaking apart. This might be my final entry in this PDA. I'll put it here. Maybe I will continue it later. Hope at least our engineers did their job when creating these structurally strengthened sections. Emerson, Ensign, UCH, Heidelberg. Cool. Commander, the optical sensors have de detected something attached to one of the machines over there. <sighs> so much talking. I'm getting tired of talking. I don't like talking. Um, cool. I'm getting a lot of good stuff out of these things. Commander, the optical... Oh, okay, hold on. Is that still... Has it said anything else? Uh, ooh, let's grab all this oxygen. I always like just doing 999 and then hitting that, and it usually just kind of takes it all out. So, cool, we got two O2 bottles out of that. I'm actually really happy I got all that fuel. Sorry. Oh. Listen, dickhead, don't, uh, don't be, don't be talking shit, all right? Um, aw, oh, no meat. Damn, that sucks. Ooh, nice. Cool getting a lot of good stuff here and i can still basically all of this crap over here i can break it down still like i haven't even started doing any of that yet i know one thing that i may do while i'm here Ooh, a thruster okay really not sure if this is like the best use of of this but if i salvage this thruster i'll get a ton of like really nice parts out of it and I don't think, even though I'm using this survival tool, I don't think that I'm going to get less stuff. I think it just takes longer. It's going to take forever for me to do this. And I'm not going to do this on all the different stuff here. I'm just going to do it kind of on a couple things here and there. Okay, that took a while, but what do we get? So, oscillator, flux coil, titanium plates, and one optical fiber. That's, that's pretty good. That's a lot of stuff that I'm not even really familiar with what it is, so it's probably some pretty nice parts. Where am I supposed to go next? Strange marker. Okay. Oh, probably need to follow this. Yes. Okay. Huh. A pad taped on it. Oh. So let me get this thing out of the way. Go ahead and decrypt it. Okay. Ooh, it's a constructor. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh, this is a lot to read. The Heidelberg is lost. Only a few survived the crash. Palin has already made contact with the local natives, the Talon. They must have seen us coming down. We literally crashed on their front lawn. We are now heading toward the Talon se settlement. The Xerax are on our heels, but seem to have lost interest. Or they are currently held up by the rest of the fleet. The last come we got basically said the fleet is in retreat. The Titan is lost. Probably crashed on the moon. Not sure if the crew survived. The MS Grand has been sent on... Has has sent an encrypted signal which we hope the Xerox will not be able to cipher for a while. This is our ticket out of here. Some friends have put up a teleporter device in a wreckage area a few kilometers away. <coughs> Emerson, the lucky son of a... <laughs> has generated a keycard. I am not sure if there are other ships coming down or other survivors. I'll leave a hint for those that might come later with instructions how to generate that keycard. For authentication, use AI Routine 34. Otherwise, the console will self-destruct instantly. I don't know why I'm talking in a low voice now. If this plan fails, I advise every other survivor to go find one of the Talon villages. These guys helped us to survive and might help you as well. Good luck to us and whoever's reading this. See you soon. M. That was a lot. Holy shit. Okay, this is slowly painting the pictures. Find it. Okay, where's this power roll? Can we find a Bridger, the aforementioned console? I wonder if I can take this thing apart. Good news, Commander. I have located the console the writer was speaking about. Where have you now? Where is it? Oh, did you find it? Oh, it's over here. Okay. Um, shit. You know something I just realized? If I... Hold on. I have an idea. I have a harebrained idea here. <clears throat> Sorry, a little, little off topic, but... I would like to make another core, if at all possible. Steel plate... Have that. Have electronics. What else? Five computers. 
I have two computers. What does it take to make a computer? Can we, can we, can we do it now? Energy matrix, motors. Let's just put everything in here. And some fresh snow for good measure. Uh, I'm short on a couple things. Damn. So here's, here's my thought. I have a feeling that if I put a core in this building, I can actually extract the parts. Like, like just as is. Like, I don't have to actually salvage everything. I can actually extract the, you know, the, all these blocks, like, as they currently are. Which would be kind of nice, because this is like an advanced constructor right here. This is kind of helpful to have. Or it's a large constructor, sorry. Large constructor. Which would be nice to have early on. Um, so, but I need more stuff. So, we'll, we'll, we'll get that figured out as we go. I'll see if I can keep, keep grabbing some things. Can I come in through here? Holy crap, that was a lot of hit points. Um, what about this? Can I, can I do this and then jump, maybe? Alright, let's see. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> God, okay. That's not what I wanted to do. He kind of did like a super jump there. Hoo -hoo. Oops. Oh. Okay. Okay. Alright, we're good. Uh, what's in here? Optical plate and op er, glass plate and optical fiber. Excess fridge. Ooh, nice! Look at that! We got some stuff. Uh, what do we get from the fridge? Do we get a computer, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Uh, no. But maybe maybe we'll get some stuff to make a computer. Who knows? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Some chairs, eh? Where's this damn, um... <laughs> sideways chairs. Where, where, what are we looking for? Oh, there's a bridge console down there. All right, well, let's break through this. Probably going through this place completely the wrong way, but I don't care. Plant row light. Oh, okay. Actually, I should have probably tried to hang on to that, but... Ooh, look at these. Do I have any... I'd love to be able to use this multi... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I don't think I need a charge for it yet. Ah, it already has some. Nice. Okay. Um... I'll set it for salvage for right now. God, yeah. I really want to get... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that hurt us a little bit. Damn. All right, hold on. Let's uh, take a bandage. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I gotta be more careful here. Okay, uh, let me salvage this light. Oops, and actually, hold on, let's use the multi-tool for that, okay? Because it'll do it, like, almost instantly. Let's do that. I'll grab the other plant grow light. I'll just, yeah, screw it. I'll just grab these. That's fine. I don't know if I'm going to get um, anything out of that. No, okay, that's fine. No worries. I'm not worried about it right now. Yeah, see, that's, like, super, super fast. Okay, oh. That's what I was looking for. Please enter verification code. Okay, and routine 34. Good luck, survivor. Deactivate console. You successfully completed access console. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was the easy part. Where do we find that teleporter? Can I, like, take that apart? Ooh, I got a computer out of that. Nice. I might actually have everything I need now. Do you remember the station at the crash site? We should start there. I have marked it on your map. Okay, so that takes us back to where we were, but... Ooh. All right, I ain't leaving yet. Not until I have all the stuff. I need all the things and all the stuff. What happens when I break that down? Just some steel plates, okay, not really a whole lot. Okay, let me see, where Where are you? Let me see if I have everything I need now to make this. Uh, I don't even know, like this whole plan I have right now, I don't even know if this is gonna work, to be perfectly honest. All right, we got a core. Now, let me see if it will let me put this down somewhere. Oh, does it does it matter? Does it have to be touching something? Um, here, let me see if I can actually kind of put it inside the ship a little bit. Well, here, right there, does that work? Oh, ooh, that might've worked. Okay, yes, awesome. All right, cool. So. Basically, if we hit P, now we can get into all of these cargo boxes. And also, anything that's in here, I can use it, um, like I can just pick it up, like that advanced constructor, which or the large constructor, which I might do. But let's check all these cargo boxes first and make sure we got everything. Okay, whoops. Uh, electronic current. What is that? No, okay. Go 
this quickly here. Aha, see? Got some Sathium plates. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Sathium's kind of a rare thing, I think, can only be found on other planets. Got electronics and more Sathium plates. Good. Okay. Nothing here. See? Dude, this is such a... This was a good idea. I'm glad I did this. <laughs> Oops. Crap, I didn't mean to do that. Um, <laughs> did I get everything? I think I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that's it. What else... What else was there? There's a food processor. I don't think there's any... Yeah, I don't think there's nothing in there. Oops. I found the... There was one fridge... <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that was the fridge I found. Oh no, some Dino Stew Royale. Mmm, fancy schmancy. <laughs> uh, few, there's several fuel tanks, it looks like. Uh, nope. Okay, that's that's got nothing in it. And if I'm doing this in a really inefficient way, I apologize. Uh, like I said, anyone that's play, you know, that's played this game a lot and has some you know, tips on, like, doing things more efficiently, because that's, this game is, like, all about efficiency, I feel like, uh, that's kind of important, um, do you have any tips on that? Let me know, I'd love to hear it. Passenger seat, I think this is really all I can get, what's, what's equipment? Armor locker. <gasps> Damn, that sucks, all right. Medical station, Oh, I should probably find all this stuff. This is this would all be nice crap to have. Um, what's this? What is that? Oh, it's a that's the large constructor. I wonder if I can. I wonder if it'll let me grab that. I don't know. What's in here? Ah, okay. So I didn't didn't grab that. All right, sweet. So now, all right, let's let's do a quick little test here. So let's see if I hit retrieve blocks. All right, oops, and then we hop up here. And then we just use do this. I got I got a large constructor out of that. Awesome! Yes, that's great. Okay, so we got a large O2 tank. I don't really care about that. I'm also starting to get a bit of a full inventory, so I need to try to not like take everything here. I'm just gonna kind of clear out my inventory here. Uh. All right, what can I grab from here? Can I grab... Okay, so I am kind of short on some things. <clears throat> I completely have this filled up. I technically don't need the survival tool right now, and I think I can easily make another one, so we'll... Um, can't, uh, oh, shit, I can't drop that. Hold on, let's do this. Trash. There we go. Okay, uh, let's see. What else? What else can I can I move around here? I need to move some things. Damn it! Can I just get rid of like the silicon ore, maybe? Hmm? Maybe. Yeah, I know that's maybe not. Oh, you know what? I could probably get rid of this this al like alien tooth and all this crap. I don't need any of that stuff. All right, <clears throat> are we good? Okay. We are, I think, but I want to take this portable constructor because that's the only thing I have right now. And we're good. All right, cool. So um, I think I am completely filled. So yeah, I would take more stuff with me, but uh, we'll just we'll just head on out. Let's go ahead and finish these missions up. We can always come back here. That is not a problem. But it is getting to be nighttime, and I do not want to be just kind of hanging around, especially out in these more kind of jungly areas at night because bad things come out of the dark. Okay, the console should be inside. Blah, blah, blah. Oops. Here, let's park that thing. I'll, I'll leave that there for right now. It's fine. Uh, do I have a light? No, I don't have any kind of light. That sucks. Yeah, I need armor first. Um, so what was it again? Yeah, routine 3, 4. Sure, retry. Access violation. Protocol compromise. Starting cells to. Oh, shit. Uh, let's get out of here then. <laughs> oh, my God. Crap. Hola. What was that all about? Enemy, enemy troops inbound. Oh, shit. This is a trap. It's a trap. 
Uh, here, let's, um... Alright, do I need to... Should I, should I bail, or should I, like, fight these things? Uh, I don't know. Defend position. Okay, so it's telling me to fight these things, so... Hello? Can you see me? You sure do. <laughs> What's the range? Current range is 40, 40. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Crap. Okay, so we just need to... This other guy. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. <laughs> All right. If you do a left shift, you can just grab everything. Of course, I can't take all this stuff. Let me uh, let me eat some crap. And um, sorry, it's left shift, and I think F just grabs everything if you can take it. But yeah, we're running into that problem where I, I'm kind of running out of room. Here, take the spice. I'll take the computer. I can find more spice. That's not going to be an issue. Holy moly. Did my mic, did my bike get blown up? Seems so. Now this trail's going cold without the teleporter intact. Um, haven't really been reading that, so I don't know what they've been saying. All right, let's, um, let's get back over to kind of like where that pod was. Water trickage. Okay, that's down there. There's a damaged hover bike over here. Oh, okay, here we go. While you're crashing on this planet, the scanners detected some tribal structures not too far away from the crash site. You should find one of these structures and make contact with the natives and learn something about this, excuse me, planet. It might be vital for your journey or for the survival of every living being. Let's go. All right, cool. So we got through chapter one of the mission. And I think what I'm going to do is, oh, you know, I still have to go back to that, the UCH dart, that little ship. I need to get that thing going so I can use it, because I actually have these uh, Promethean fuel packs. You can use these to power, like, I think, yeah, there's a damaged hover bike right over here, I want to say. Here, let's hit the detector again. Yeah, we got a damaged hover bike over there. That's good. And then we have way over where the, um... Uh, oh shit, where did it go? Here, let's use, uh, pull up the map here. Yeah, yeah, so the Heidelberg and then the Dart, they both show up in green now because they're technically mine. So, because I put cores in both of them. So, uh, I need to go back there and grab both of those things and load... I can't remember what the Dart said it was missing. I think it said it needed typical fuel and generator. Fuel, tank, and then a generator. Then I have a working ship that I can fly around on the planet. That would be really nice. Um, but, uh, alright. But yeah, we'll take care of all that tomorrow. I think what I'm gonna do is just put the tent down, and I am gonna sleep until the morning. Very good. And then you can just, uh, yeah, sleep until the morning, so you don't have to worry about all the, the bad things in the forest. Uh, I will catch up with you all on the next episode, and, uh, in the meantime, get some sleep in the tent. We're on a, a planet, and things are kind of scary right now but we're in a good situation we got some food we got some stuff we're, we'll be fine we'll be fine we have ham i'm gonna make a ham sandwich and go to bed see you on the next one